Have you ever wondered how fish stay alive during the winter? It is a very interesting question and has a pretty complex answer. Today, we will be explaining how fish stay alive during the winter and the science behind it. Fish have developed various physiological and behavioral adaptations to survive underwater during the winter, when temperatures drop and ice may cover the surface of water bodies. The ability of fish to endure cold conditions is influenced by factors such as species, habitat, and environmental conditions. To understand how fish survive in the frozen waters, First, let's go over the physiological adaptations. Most fish are ectothermic or cold-blooded, meaning their internal body temperature is influenced by the surrounding environment. This adaptation allows fish to conserve energy in colder temperatures as they don't need to generate heat internally, which relates to how some fish can exhibit changes in metabolic rates to cope with colder temperatures. As the water temperature drops, their metabolic processes slow down, reducing the overall energy expenditure. This enables them to survive with lower food intake during the winter months. Some fish species in extremely cold environments produce antifreeze proteins. These proteins prevent the formation of ice crystals within the fish's body by binding to ice nucleating particles and inhibiting their growth. This helps fish maintain their physiological functions even in sub-zero temperatures. Next, we will talk more about the behavioral adaptions of the fish and how these adaptions help them survive during the cold winters. Many fish species exhibit seasonal migrations to find more suitable habitats as temperatures change. In winter, they may move to deeper, warmer waters where they can find refuge from extreme cold and access sufficient food resources. Fish tend to reduce their activity levels in winter, conserving energy and minimizing exposure to the cold. This behavioral change is often accompanied by a decrease in feeding, as digestion is an energy-intensive process. Schooling behavior is another common adaptation in winter. Fish may gather in large groups, providing mutual protection against predators and reducing the energy expenditure of individual fish. Schooling behavior is another common adaptation in winter. Fish may gather in large groups, providing mutual protection against predators and reducing the energy expenditure of individual fish. Now we will discuss the environmental factors of how fish stay alive. As water temperatures drop, the metabolism of fish slows down, reducing their energy requirements. Some fish species can also tolerate lower temperatures by entering a state of torpor or hibernation. Cold water can hold more dissolved oxygen than warm water. However, the rate at which oxygen dissolves in water decreases at lower temperatures. Ice formation on the water surface can limit the exchange of gases, potentially leading to reduced oxygen levels. Fish may concentrate in areas with sufficient oxygen or exhibit behavioral adaptations to cope with low oxygen conditions. Now let's go over some case studies between some different fish. Species in polar regions face extreme cold and extended periods of darkness. Antarctic notothenioid fish, for example, have evolved antifreeze glycoproteins to survive in sub-zero waters. Similarly, Arctic fish exhibit unique adaptations to thrive in icy conditions. The survival strategies of fish can vary between freshwater and saltwater environments. Freshwater fish may face freezing conditions and ice cover, while saltwater fish in colder regions deal with the challenges of reduced salinity due to ice melt. In conclusion, the ability of fish to survive winter is a testament to the incredible adaptability of these aquatic organisms. Through a combination of physiological, behavioral, and environmental adaptations, fish can endure harsh winter conditions. Understanding these mechanisms not only contributes to our knowledge of aquatic ecosystems, but also underscores the importance of conservation efforts to preserve the delicate balance that allows fish to thrive in diverse environments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you for watching, and have a good day.